I've been saying for years that newspapers and magazines and television, frankly, should be willing to show the photos of the carnage at places like Newtown. And people go, whoa, you can't do that. But it was when we started showing pictures of diseased lungs and people dying of cancer back in the late 90s that people said enough with cigarettes, right? This would, this would change everything. Check out our rant on it. And please ding the bell, subscribe, and leave your comments. Yeah, you will recall, those of you who listen to the program regularly or have for a long time, that I've been saying for years and years that when the American press begins showing pictures of slaughtered children in a school. We're going to get gun laws the next week. This is what happened in New Zealand. New Zealand this week rolled out the, I mean, this is done deal, right? These are laws now. No more semi, semi-automatic weapons, period. You have until September to turn in your guns. You will be repaid generously, but you no longer can, can possess these kinds of weapons. No problem if you got a, you know, a, a rifle, a pistol that's a revolver, you know, a normal kind of gun. But auto, semi-automatic weapons are treated just like automatic weapons now in New Zealand. And frankly, I think they should be here in the United States. And I've been saying it's, you know, our unwillingness to show the pictures of what this does. Think back to the tobacco uh, lobbies. Think back to the, the, the whole tobacco thing, right? The, the whole... Uh, in, the, in the late 90s, it was when the anti-tobacco crusaders began showing pictures of, of people ravaged by t- tobacco, the, you know, toothless, you know, all, you know, all that, and, you know, these horrible lung disease pictures. The people started taking it seriously and going, oh my God, that's what lung cancer looks like. So now there's this movement that's being led by the young people out of Columbine High School. It's a hashtag, my last shot. And uh, Kaylee Tyner, Tyner told CNN, she was the founder of this thing, that she was inspired by the death of Emmett Till. His mother said, you know, we're going to have an open casket funeral. He was, of, of course, murdered and beaten. I mean, just bru- brutally beaten by these white racists. His face was so disfigured. And when that picture was published in Jet Magazine and then it went around the world, it, it galvanized the civil rights movement and and led to real change in America. And Kaylee Tyner is saying, you know, this was my inspiration. She said his parents insisted the world see the imagery of his death. And she's saying, if if I am shot, I want the pictures of my bloody body to be out there in the damn newspaper. <laughs>